I left Ashi at her place in Salem and uh, I'm headed back to Chennai all on my own. The uh, bike is so much more better, listens to me. And uh, the acceleration, the braking, everything, everything is just a zillion times better when you're on your own. So 4500 RPM on a Himalayan is almost 75% of the healthy RPM range or 80% I would say. We are riding non-stop almost 180 kilometers, 185 kilometers now. Yeah, so um, again non-stop, non-stop 185 kilometers. Just uh, thinking to myself. Why did I not do this before? The bike can easily take it, very easy. I'm constantly listening to the engine note. Plus, added to that, my oil has almost lost its viscosity. Hoping to get back home and uh, change the oil. But for now, this has been a 185 kilometer, 186 kilometer stretch without a single break. And the bike has just been munching miles like it was nothing. All these uh, years, three and a half years of using the Himalayan, I've been very careful. I would do, uh, I would definitely stop and give the bike some rest every 100 kilometers. Maybe five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever. Whatever I could afford to give, I would always see to it that the bike would take a nap and then, you know, I would kickstart the ride again. But here, today, it's been uh, a totally different scene. I've been just gunning it and yeah, now I'm kind of slowing down a bit. I'm doing 80, 85, 90. It's because I want my bike to rest. I'm about to take a break. I'll hit 200 kilometers on the trip meter and I will take a break. So, uh, yep, that's that. Wow. Look at this, fellas. Two hundred and ten kilometers at a stretch, and the engine sounds like that. Totally fine. So this is where I'm at now. Luggage has been absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. It just sit, sits there, or just sat there for the whole of the trip. A chain, yep, nice and wet, good. Tires almost gone, the center knobs almost gone. I don't think that'll be any good, any more good on off-road terrain from now. The Ralco seems to be doing really, really well. No complaints. Yep. So we'll take a small break here. Road to 20 kilometers at a stretch without any brakes. Check this out. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Himalayan home ground. Oh, that is 
this new tool. Ho, 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 ho! Fox of exploring. Secure I am at. What a sight. Dam a pear in another pear pear in a dam. Dam a pear in a mother on the gum. Tani will learn the leather community in the modern other than a you will learn more so. Pungi very much. Okay. That's the bike that gets you everywhere. Crazy, huh? Some pictures and we'll call it quits. And the photo at the day, Allah. Okay, heading back. Some quick, nice time.
oh, oh, oh. Look to my left. Woo! If only there was a way. There seems to be a way. Right through the river. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Almost there. Seems like I'm going to cut across the river. And let's hope it's going to be a fantastic sight. A, a little one. Ah ha 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 ha. going on there. This is some nice crazy crazy place for a picture. Definitely calls for a picture. Enough of pictures, headed back home. This bridge does seem like it's taken a beating. Ah. Man, this is just amazing. If only I could just get down and ride. Can I? <laughs> if I could, I am. doesn't seem all that pleasant. Oh yeah, you can. Himalayan roads, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 